help Atheist Republic save our Facebook page. So, guys, um, we are in a scary position here at Atheist Republic. Atheist Republic, for those who do not know, has the world's largest Facebook page. And Atheist Facebook page. And um, we are in a bit of a tough position because we have an insane amount of strikes on our page, which means that we are at risk of getting our whole page deleted. Um, and this is incredibly scary and risky for us because all of these things that you see here on our page um, are <laughs> things that do not violate Facebook's own community standards policies. I have spoken to Facebook employees and I've shown them what we have gotten strikes for. And they agree with me that these posts that we've gotten penalized for do not actually violate their own policies. Not only that, not only are we getting wrongful strikes, completely wrongful strikes, but they stay active as violations or um, penalties on our page for way longer than they're supposed to. So you'll see here that we have one that's like 11 months long. We have a few that are two months long. And usually they disappear off of your page way faster than this. We've been doing research into this issue from some for some time, and we have yet to see an example of violations staying on the page as long as ours have. Um, so this is a major concern for us because not only are we at risk of losing our whole page, which is something we've spent a decade building. It's one of our major ways of reaching people around the world and building our community, telling people about our community and helping bring our community to them. Um, but, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, it's also very difficult because these penalties mean that our page does not get boosted in the algorithm. So less people see it when we do post, it's put way lower on your page. And so it really, even though we still have it, we are still crippled in our ability to get our message out there and share the community of Atheist Republic. So something I have been working on for a long time is trying to get this addressed. And I've tried it numerous different ways. Um, and unfortunately, many times it just seems like things just go into the black hole at Facebook. So given that we are appealing to our community to hopefully find a connection at Facebook who can help us out with this problem. Um, wait, let me put my uh, email in the live chat. So if you know, if you work at Facebook, if you know anyone or not Facebook or Meta, Meta in general, the parent company too, that'd be fantastic. If you know anyone that works at Facebook or Meta, or maybe you yourself do, maybe you have it in as a second or third connection in your, in your network, please email me, Atheist Republic's executive director, CEO, president, whatever you want to call it. Uh, please email me at Susanna at atheistrepublic.com. My name is spelled S-U-S-A-N-N-A -N -N -A at atheistrepublic.com. Um, if you have a connection into Facebook, you can help us save our Facebook page, which is very important to our organization. Um, yeah, I really hope we can get this fixed because it's, it's touch and go at this point, honestly. We're on a hair's edge and it is very anxiety inducing. <laughs> You're muted. Yeah. So by, by the way, so just to mention this again, we have Facebook employees, Facebook employees looking at this and agreeing that these posts don't, doesn't violate any of the community standards yet their, their own, the same Facebook employees can't do anything about it. We have confirmation from inside Facebook that this doesn't violate anything, and their their hands are tied. What what this is? What kind of system is this? Uh, also, there's some grudge against us because again, these are posts from ten months ago, and they still haven't gone away. Ten months ago, I've read so many articles online about this, and they usually last about like three months, and then eventually they go away. Ours is just six around, so if they keep piling up, we might lose a page, like a page address. Here, look at this. 
It says restriction. Your, pra your page is restricted because it didn't follow community standards. We know you're not always, we're, we're not always right. If you think we got it wrong, you can disagree with our decision and in some cases get the restriction removed. We have disagreed with every single one of them. After disagreeing, they said, like, we don't have enough people to check this, okay? And we have had people to check this, and then they didn't go away. They stayed. And it says, your page is at risk of being unpublished and has reduced distribution and other restrictions due to, due to continued community standards violations. Again, none of the none of these posts, like... I, I wish I had some, some examples. I have an example. Can I we, show it? We shouldn't even show it, though, because we're streaming on Facebook right now. We could get dinged again. Okay. I can okay, tell so you what they were. I remember. Tell, tell them. Tell them what they were because it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so one of them that I remember was a um, it was a stock image photo of an old lady opening up an oven. And uh, it's it, she she has a, like a happy look on her face, like she's smelling something wonderful. And it, the caption is something along the lines of like, mm, "I love the smell of babies," like because it's a it's a joke about how people atheists. say that atheists eat babies. So it's a joke at our own expense. And mm -hmm. we got dinged because they were they said that it either promoted violence against children or that it promoted discrimination against atheists which I thought was hilarious because I'm like, oh, so now you actually recognize discrimination against atheists for once because usually you guys don't care about that at all. But this time it's actually a joke we're, we're making about ourselves. Like we're, we're, we're doing a satirical spin on a stereotype about us. Like, come on, man. <laughs> um, I'd have to, another one of them was we got dinged for um, a, post that was a um it was a poster that someone was holding up um and it was basically satirizing uh, it was it was a sarcastic take on different biblical tenets so but one of them says like um like don't like gays like snakes can walk something 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 but then um because it says like doesn't like gays on the mm. sign they think that we're promoting homophobia but we're not the sign is asked to actually sarcastically pointing out the bible's homophobia so we so technically so basically what facebook is telling us is that we can't make fun of homophobia because by trying to make fun of homophobia we have to show homophobia and then we're showing homophobia the post becomes homophobic so we can't we're fight promoting. homophobia but, yeah. yeah because we can't show it it's insane um yeah. so th that's actually what two of these strikes were another one was like a, a meme format but basically the reason why we got dinged was because it was saying that we were being homophobic but it was actually highlighting the problem of biblical homophobia it was highlighting the problem of it and like condemning it as bad but because it like mentioned it sarcastically yeah yeah it's it's freaking it's so frustrating it's so frustrating so like I said, I am appealing to our community. It has helped me before, and I'm hoping that it will help us again, um, that we can find someone who can help us out with this, this issue. Um, because, yeah, this is in a, a, a stressful place right now. So if you know anyone, please email Susanna at AtheistRepublic.com. And that you could, you could literally save Atheist Republic's Facebook page. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Abhabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.